Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral researcher based in Vienna, Austria. And in one of my previous videos on the Withing Scan Watch, I noticed that during cardio workouts it often recorded a way too low heart rate, about half of what it should be. The original analysis I did was based on just two days of heart rate data, so I figured it might be a one-time problem. However, in the comments and also on Reddit, people mentioned having similar problems. So in this video, I'll show a more detailed two-week heart rate test of the Withing Scan Watch and we'll see if the original problems persist. In total, I recorded my heart rate during nine workouts on my home trainer and four weightlifting sessions with both the Polar H10 chest strap and with the Withing Scan Watch. Now, the Polar H10 chest strap is generally considered to be one of the most accurate consumer devices for measuring heart rate. I actually recorded the raw heartbeat to heartbeat intervals with the Polar H10 chest strap so I could calculate the heart rate over the exact same time intervals as the Withing Scan Watch to make the comparison as fair as possible. Let's immediately dive into the results. To recap, these are the results I showed you last time. So on the x-axis, the horizontal axis here, the heart rate according to the Polar H10, and the vertical axis, the heart rate according to the Withings. Each dot here is a single heart rate measurement, and if the results would agree perfectly, then they would all be along this blue line. So you can indeed see that a lot of points are along this blue line. So the main problem I saw were these points here, where in reality I had a heart rate of about 170, but the Withings detected about half that, so about 85. This red line here indicates the values that the scan watch would detect if it detected half the heart rate of the Polar H10. And you can also see that during this lower heart rate session, so when I was doing weightlifting, which is these values here, it also sometimes detected about half the heart rate. So we can actually see that in the original data. So on top is my heart rate according to the scan watch, and on the bottom my heart rate according to the Polar H10. On the left here you see my cardio session, which is divided into four parts of about eight minutes. And on the right here you have my weightlifting session. And of course my heart rate was higher during the cardio session. And during this whole first part it recorded about half the heart rate that it should have. But we can even see that during weightlifting here that the Withings scan watch detected about half the heart rate that it should have. So this is what I presented during my first video and then I wanted to know is this a one-off thing or does this continue to be a problem? So this is a plot similar to what I showed you before, but now for the new data. So this excludes the original data and is just new data. And again, we see that we have this blob here where my heart rate was really high during my cardio sessions that detects about half the heart rate that it should be. But we even see that during the weightlifting sessions, also there are some moments where it detects about half the heart rate that it should. And we can basically see that all the heart rates that the scan watch detects are somewhere between what it should be and half that value. So we have this whole blob here between those two lines, so where it should be and half the heart rate that it should be, where all the values lie. So let's have a look at what it actually looked like for the original cardio and weightlifting sessions. So this is a cardio session where the scan watch did quite good. So we see I divided it into four parts where I took a break in between, and all of these were detected by the scan watch. So this is what you want to see. However, this is one of the few times where the scan watch detected my heart rate correctly over all training sessions. So this is another one where I did it correctly. For the weightlifting session, I'm not too sure. Here it picks up about half the heart rate that it should be, but overall it's quite okay. But if we look at some other sessions, for instance this one, we see again that my training was divided into four parts, but it only picked up on these last two. And we see even here that after one of these sessions, my heart rate drops according to the scan watch to a heart rate of about 50, where it should have been about 90 or 100. So again, half of it. So somehow, even though it didn't have this increase, it still detected a decrease and went to about half the heart rate that it should be. And we have more of these examples. So again, here it misses the first two, maybe with a few moments where it does detect something. Again, here it detects the first increase, but then in the middle it has, says about half of it. And again, also my heart rate decreases to about 50, 60, where it should have been 90. So again, it detects a low heart rate. And here we see it misses one of them. So this one, so again, it's about half. And there are more examples like this. And again, here, most of my training session has about half the heart rate. Now, if we look at this one here for the cardio, it seems to have done quite okay. If we look at my weight lifting session on the right here, we see that my heart rate should have been between about 100 and 130. But the scan watch detects a heart rate between about 40 and 70, which is half of what it should be. And of course, very unrealistic when you're doing weightlifting. Other weightlifting sessions like this one or this one are better and they're quite okay, where the polar heart rate and the scan watch heart rate agree better. So the main problem appears to be during these really high heart rates that the scan watch detects about half the heart rate that it should. And it's quite a common problem. It occurs in most of my training sessions and sometimes for almost a full training session. Now, based on these results, I would definitely say that there's a systematic problem with the way that the Withings scan watch records heart rates. 
Now this is still an early release version of the scan watch, so they might be able to fix this with a software update, which I hope will come in the near future. As to why this problem is occurring, I'm not 100% sure. As far as I understand it, I am wearing the watch correctly. Other people have experienced similar problems and have not had problems with other smart watches that have worn the same way. One of my commenters did have a suggestion. He or she mentions that this might be due to the noise in the signal, which makes it more likely that the algorithm either doubles or halves the frequency. Looking online, I found that this was a more common problem and not just for heart rate, but for instance, also for pitch detection. Do you have any experience with the Withings scan watch or are you planning on buying one? Let us know in the comments below. I did contact Withings with my problems and they said they would look into it. So I'll send them my data and hopefully they can improve it in the next firmware update. In my videos, I do scientific tests on different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit and the ScanWatch. And in the end, I hope to use tracking to improve my life. So if you like that subject and like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and also consider giving it a thumbs up because it makes it easier for other people to find my videos. In the next video in this series, I'll check out the step counter and the oxygen saturation monitor of the Withings ScanWatch. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.